For those of you selling Amazon KDP books, you can seriously take your book cover designs to the next level using Kittle. And in this tutorial, we're going to use Kittle AI to make the process even easier easier and hey if you're new to Kittle I'm so glad you are watching go ahead and sign up for free using the link down in the description and then you can follow along with this tutorial all right the first thing we need to do is change our artboard size let's so go right here and we're going to do 1600 by 2560 that's a very common Amazon KDP size that we're thinking about and then what we're going to do is go over and use Kittle AI right here I'm going to speed up through inserting the prompt here but I wanted a maze a labyrinth because we're going to go through the Mic the mystics labyrinth book cover is what we're going to design and I like this one right here but it's not exactly how I want it compositionally so I'm going to go and adjust the words here give it a little bit more detail to try to get something I want and then it gave me one of a four forest which I thought was cool but it wasn't exactly what I want so I've just sped up to this one which I do like a lot now if I hit W which is the trim view you can see the sides and all these vines and branches and I want to add that later but it's cut off right now and that's okay what we're gonna focus on for the moment is creating this silhouette because I want the focal point the person the main character to shine through this silhouette of a person now I duplicated the image and I dragged it into this mask okay now if I double click into the mask I can now adjust the image and what I'm gonna do is adjust the image to line it up with the first image that's in the background you see what I'm doing so it's inside of a mask of a silhouette of a head and I'm lining it up to be perfectly in the middle okay and I'm gonna show you why in a second it may not look like much now but just hold on for a second I'm gonna show you what happens now what we're gonna do is select the mask group I'm gonna turn off the outline or the background because we don't need that color and then after I get this all situated how I want to I'm gonna go ahead and label this silhouette so I don't get confused if I go to the background image I can change the opacity and now you see why we put it in a silhouette because now I can affect the background image the initial AI render to make some really cool effects so I'm gonna turn it on soft light and then when I change the background color look at that I have a completely different tint that I'm going to mess with and get how I want so that the silhouette of this head and the character in the middle shines through so it looks more bright and glowy now let's focus on text for a second I'm gonna use that same kind of light bright yellow bright orange style for the typography and then I'm gonna bring it up here into the top now of course our title of the book is the mystics labyrinth and I'm not gonna leave it as this font we need to go over here and we need to find a nice serif style kind of uh, vintagey inspired like mystical looking font and I think this one gazetteer here is going to work perfectly for this I need to adjust it just a little bit so that it's easy to read I like it also because it's condensed so it works perfectly on vertical style projects like a book cover now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this silhouette and I'm gonna bring it to the front of the type because I want it to sit just above the type and that just gives this a little bit of depth and it makes the book cover just a little bit more attractive so I'm gonna do a little bit of tweaking here then I'm gonna duplicate the text we'll go mystics and I'm gonna just choose a clean sans serif font like outfits for this I think that looks great using some hierarchy to decrease the size in terms of which most important so the is obviously less important labyrinth is the most important hey real quick if you're getting value out of this ebook cover tutorial let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and that subscribe button and then let me know in the comments are you selling on Amazon KDP or do you plan to I'm super curious to know how it's going and if you're going to use Kittle to create your book cover so let me know down in the comments and let's get back to the tutorial then I'm gonna put this this author's name down here at the bottom but there's some space here where the silhouette did not reach the bottom you can see that gap down there well what we're gonna do with that is add a gradient I'm gonna add a gradient and then make it the same tint as the background to blend this correctly now of course we want the text up in front we want the author's name in front 
then I can just adjust this gradient all the way over to the left and then drag this anchor point over here, this bounding box to the right. And then what I can do is adjust the color to get it to be the same as the tint in the back. Okay, so you see if I select that, it's already looking kind of nice, but we have a little bit of work to do just to make sure that it blends. And I want the silhouette to kind of start coming out of that so that way it doesn't look like an error. It doesn't look like a sharp uh, angle for the head of the silhouette. Okay, so once we get this squared away, of course, you can keep changing your color and do whatever you need to. Then what we're going to do is add some more of those branches. Remember, I talked about the branches in the beginning beginning but they're off to the side we need the branches to kind of come back into view now I took a couple tries to get one I wanted I think this one has some really cool branches and the leaves are kind of like that bright green glow that I'm gonna remove the background here and then I'm gonna adjust the brightness as well as a couple other adjustments over here in the photo panel layer and I'm going to start moving this tree around and now you can see that there are branches that are coming in front okay so we're creating depth now you can see branches way off in the back but we want some branches up in front like this is an actual focal shot okay like we're focal zoomed in or we're focused on the person in the middle and now what I'm gonna do is adjust the silhouette here to be even more intense kind of like a fiery glow because I want one I want the silhouette to make sense and I also want the focal image to make sense which is the person the character that's getting lost in this maze okay so you can tweak this and mess with it as much as you want I can mess with the background here to get it to where I want to and of course we could keep going on for a long time now the last thing I'm gonna do is add a gradient effect around the head okay the silhouette of the head now I need this radial gradient here which I'm gonna make about the size of the silhouette of the head here and then I need to go over here and I need to change my colors okay so I'm gonna go for a green glow I need to make the green just a little bit brighter uh, to match slightly match the hue of the back but also just accentuate the silhouette of the head now let's put it to the back okay so it's all the way here in the back but as I move it you can see the glow is coming out of the side of the head okay and this is just a little detail of course we could have stopped where we were once everything was together but I think this just accentuates the silhouette of the head a little bit more it divides it from the background a little bit better so that you can see it or you can actually make out that it is a silhouette of a head and so what I'm gonna do is just speed up through moving this around making it basically the outline of this silhouette so that it just creates a little bit more depth and so here is the final book cover the final fantasy book cover that we used Kittle AI to make for Amazon KDP and downloadable books like PDF hope you have a ton of fun with this tutorial now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.